Darling, give me a hand with hair. Hey, it's Stan in Big White Letters. And we're going to be talking about wedding hair. Hey, it's Stan in Big White Letters. And we are here at Hair Matters. We're going to talk to Jean Zay about wedding hair. Hi, I'm Sean Zay Lovell from Hair Matters Hair Salon. I'm here to give you some tips today about getting your hair done for your wedding. When choosing a hairstylist for your wedding day, you need to make sure that they are available on your wedding date and make sure that they are capable of doing updos or the particular style that you are wanting for that day. And um, another thing to keep in mind, they do have the products they'll need as far as hairspray and bobby pins, so that is not a need to bring that. And when you're getting married, sometimes it is easier for you as a bride to have the stylist come to the venue as where you're getting married, that you want to make sure that that is an option, or if you need to go to their hair salon, that that is an option as well. Usually, um, whatever's easiest for the bride would be perfect. When you're trying to decide what style you want for your big day, you um, the easiest way is to bring a picture. Um, most hair salons provide books that have the styling in it, but if you want to choose something prior to that, a lot of times getting online and just typing in wedding styles or updo styles is about the easiest way to find something similar to what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. When you're booking the appointment, the first thing is to do it about two months ahead of time at least, just to make sure that they are reserved for your date. And you want to have a trial appointment, and that would be just to practice your hairstyle, so that way they make sure that they get exactly what you're looking for, and I recommend that about two to three weeks prior to your actual wedding date. And when you come in for the trial date, it's important that you bring the picture that you like and so um, it'll be fresh in the stylist's memory. When you come in for the trial date to uh, practice your hair, you wanna make sure that you come in with your hair clean and preferably straight down or just your natural hair style that you know when it air dries or you blow dry it. And that's as well as on your wedding date because that's easier as far as not having to shampoo your hair and blow dry it. It would just be easier on time if you just came straight in ready to be worked on. When you're coming in for your hairstyle, if you're going to be wearing a veil or a lot of people are wearing like the feather clips these days, if you want to do something fun like that, make sure you bring it with you so the stylist knows exactly where you want to have that at and it can tie it into your updo or your formal hairstyle. I am Shanze Lovell with Hair Matters, and if you're looking for a stylist, you can give us a call at 254-2473. Hey, it was great to see Shanze at Hair Matters, and there was one more thing she mentioned, but the tape messed up so it didn't get in there, is uh, remember to consult with your stylist and find out how much time you'll eat, need for each bridesmaid and each head of hair. You know, maybe one set of hair is big, long, complicated, take a long time, could be 45 minutes, could be an hour, hour and a half even. Uh, so remember to consult with your stylist about the times. So this is Stan, helping you plan wedding hair.